Let's take a look at the Redis cluster architecture. When you store a new key value pair in a Redis cluster, a sharding mechanism comes into play to determine where the data is stored. This sharding mechanism is known as the hash slot technique. When a key is stored in the cluster, Redis hashes the key using the CRC16 or cyclic redundancy check checksum algorithm and assigns it to a specific hash slot, which is mapped to a particular master node. All writes happen on the master nodes. Each master is independently responsible for its own shard of data. By default, all reads go to the master, but Redis cluster allows clients to read from slaves, offloading traffic from masters to enhance performance. Redis partitioning allows horizontal scaling by distributing data across multiple master nodes. The replica or slave nodes are denoted as S1, S2, and S3. Each master node is replicated to one or more slaves. Replication is asynchronous by default, meaning the master doesn't wait for confirmation from the slaves before considering an operation complete. The slaves serve as read-only copies of their respective masters. There's optional synchronous replication. Redis cluster supports semi-synchronous replication, where the master waits for at least one slave to acknowledge the replication before confirming the operation to the client. To optimize performance, slaves can be used to serve read-only traffic, particularly useful when the cluster experiences heavy read traffic. However, reads can be slightly outdated due to the asynchronous nature of replication, which is known as eventual consistency. Redis cluster uses a gossip protocol in which Redis nodes exchange metadata. This is a form of cluster communication in which Redis nodes exchange metadata using a gossip protocol to maintain consistency across the cluster. Each node knows the state of every other node, including their role, master or slave, availability, and the hash slots they serve. In the gossip mechanism, each node periodically sends a heartbeat message to a random subset of other nodes to disseminate information about the cluster. This way, updates about node failures or role changes, for example, master promotion, propagate throughout the cluster. When a master node fails, the cluster automatically promotes one of its slaves to become the new master. The failover process involves other masters or slaves initiating a voting process to elect a new master from the available slaves. The cluster uses a quorum-based approach to ensure that at least half the masters acknowledge the failure before triggering a failover. The promotion of a slave ensures continued availability of the data shard. If a client sends a request to a master responsible for a slot it does not own, the master redirects the client to the correct node using moved and ask responses. Moved tells the client to directly query the correct master, and ask is used when the slot is in transition, allowing the client to temporarily query the new owner. Let's break down ask and slot transition. But what is slot, slot transition, and the ask command? A slot is a fundamental unit of data distribution that helps manage how keys are stored and accessed across multiple master nodes. The key space is divided into 16,384 hash slots, and each master node in the cluster is responsible for a specific subset of these slots. When a key is stored or retrieved, Redis uses a hashing algorithm to determine which slot the key belongs to. In Redis cluster, slots can be moved between master nodes for load balancing or maintenance. When a slot is in transition, it means that the responsibility for that slot is being transferred from one master node, the old owner, to another, the new owner. During this transition, if a client attempts to access a key that falls under the transitioning slot, the Redis cluster will respond with an ask redirection. This means that the client is informed that the key is currently managed by a different master node than it expected. The client is instructed to query the new owner, which is the master node that is now responsible for the slot instead of the old one. This allows the client to continue functioning without interruption as it can still access the required data, albeit temporarily through a different node. Although Redis is an in-memory database, it provides mechanisms for persistence to disk. First, there are RDB snapshots, which are point-in-time snapshots of data that can be saved periodically. There's also AOF, or append-only file, and this logs every write operation and replays them upon restart, offering a more fine-grained recovery option. Redis cluster uses eventual consistency, especially in replication scenarios. However, it can be configured to favor stronger consistency by adjusting the replication settings and using quorum writes or synchronous replication. Quorum writes refers to a consistency model in distributed databases to ensure data reliability and availability. In this model, a write operation must be acknowledged by a majority or quorum of nodes in the cluster before it is considered successful. To achieve quorum, the write must be confirmed by more than half of the nodes that hold a copy of the data. For example, in a system with five nodes, at least three must acknowledge the write for it to be deemed successful.
So the use case of quorum rights are scenarios where data integrity is critical, such as in financial transactions or applications requiring strong consistency guarantees. Redis Cluster expects clients to be aware of the cluster topology. A smart client connects to any node in the cluster, discovers the topology, for example, which master owns which slots, and directs requests accordingly to avoid unnecessary redirections. The cluster continuously monitors node health and ensures data integrity. If a node is unreachable for longer than a configured timeout, the node is marked as failed, and failover procedures begin. The remaining nodes coordinate the re-election of a master or reconfiguration of slots. Redis cluster scales horizontally by adding more master nodes to distribute the key space across them. As more masters are added, more hash slots are distributed, enabling the system to handle larger datasets and more connections. Redis Cluster has built-in mechanisms to handle network partitions, or split brain. Nodes that become isolated can be detected via the gossip protocol, and Redis can take measures to prevent data corruption or inconsistency by disabling unreachable nodes. When a failed master comes back online, it may rejoin as a slave of the newly promoted master. The cluster uses an incremental synchronization mechanism to bring it up to date. For the cluster to remain operational during failures, at least half the masters must be up and reachable. If less than half are available, Redis cluster will stop accepting write operations to ensure data integrity. In summary, the Redis cluster design provides high availability, scalability, and fault tolerance by distributing data across multiple master nodes and replicating it to slave nodes. The cluster operates in a decentralized manner, relying on a gossip protocol for communication and an election-based failover system to maintain consistency and availability during node failures.